Three Green Mountain Transit buses in central Vermont are adjusting their schedules. NBC 5 Sid Buley is live for us in Montpelier this morning. And Sid, you spoke with the company about the decision and how it will ultimately impact commuters. Sarah Beth Zuri, Green Mountain Transit says following a wave of retirements, they simply do not have the staffing to keep these buses operating like normal. Now these changes will go into effect today, but they said it shouldn't last too long, estimating just a few months. It was a uh, tough decision, but uh, one that we thought was in the best interest of the public. Following a wave of retirements, Green Mountain Transit will be temporarily suspending the 93 Northfield and the 84 US2 commuter midday buses and reducing operation of the 89 city commuter from every 30 minutes to every hour. I don't think anybody's thrilled about it, but um, I, I do think uh, people understand that this is a better scenario than uh, expecting a bus that's not going to show. And one commuter says it will affect a lot more than just those three routes. It's not only those buses, but people also have to get to where they're going to make other connections to like to Burlington. GMT's general manager John Moore says that the company is actively hiring and it's been very challenging to fill CDL positions, which has also been noticed by the local Teamsters Union, saying, quote, there is virtually no pool of people to choose from. And whenever someone leaves, the replacement must be trained from the beginning. We're anticipating at least uh, two month uh, period of these reduced services as we can hire, onboard, and train folks. The new schedules will be similar to those GMT had implemented during the pandemic. Instead of protecting employees from COVID-19, this time it's trying to protect them from overworking. The Teamsters Union said they're glad GMT is taking their health and safety into account. Now the new schedules are published on GMT's website and on their social media. And again, they said this should just be lasting a few months. Live in Montpelier, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.